Alright guys, going to be testing out this uh, case here, Pelican i1015. Now, I only have one iPhone right now, so my testing, I'm going to use the, uh, the headphones in there, as well as, because I'm doing a water test first, um, to see if it is waterproof, I'm going to use a uh, tissue. Uh, I'm not stupid enough, this is a test, I haven't, you know, confirmed that it actually works, so I don't want to chance the only phone I have, which I have to use for work. So, anyway, let me grab a tissue, a little ball here, I put this inside, pretend it's our camera, I mean, camera, our, uh, our phone, this way, if there's any moisture that gets in there, obviously you'll be able to tell with the tissue, and plus I'm keeping my headphones in there too, which I don't plan on ruining on purpose, so, let me bring this down a little bit, and basically it's just snap closed, Nothing special, nothing beyond that. And we're going to get it wet. First I'm going to pull my drain down. There we go. Now this does float, as I mentioned with the other Pelican cases. Which is good to know in case you drop it in a lake or something. Or a pond, who knows where. Alright, so, here's our case, you can see it does float, submerge it under water here. It's good to know, like I said, in case you, uh, you drop it in the water somewhere, it's not going to sink to the bottom. Let's flip this around, do a little alligator roll here. Totally submerged under water. Hold it there for a second, then we'll uh, dry it off and take a look on the inside here. All right, let me grab my uh, washcloth here. Just going to drain the water. Just going to dry this off. Make sure the whole outside is dry, and then we'll open it up and check the inside. I mean, because it's clear, we can see that everything's still dry on the inside, but just to be sure, pop the seal here, open it up, and there's nothing. The only moisture is right on the outside of this ridge, on the outside of the rubber. Nothing has penetrated through the, uh, the seal there. Everything's still completely dry. So, that works. It's, uh, it is water, I want to say water resistant. I'm not going to say waterproof because I'm sure up to a certain depth um, you will get some kind of leakage. But if you're out in the rain, it's not a problem whatsoever. So, let's get on to the fun stuff and start beating on this thing. Alright, let's try our uh, destruction test here. Start off with something simple. Got my wooden deck. I'm walking, got my phone, and I dropped it. Oops. Try it again. And again. Alright, well that's not getting anywhere. Let's try it on the ice. Drop it on the ice. Do a little spin here. Everything's still fine. I have to do something a little bit more extreme. Alright, I'm out in the road now, so let's drop it on something a little bit harder. Seems to be fine. Oh, opened up. Interesting. All this dropping uh, finally popped it open. Is it still functional? Yep. Still works. Didn't break it, just popped it open. Alright, let's try something a little bit more extreme. Uh, one thing I did notice as you saw it before there, it did, it just popped open. Alright, let me actually, uh, let me do something a little bit more fun. 
All right, guys. Well, just realized my camera shut off. I was trying to film, but anyway, I keep running over this thing. Uh, twice it popped open. The seal doesn't seem as strong. It pops open, but it's not crushing it. Anyway, I'm going to give it another go here. It wasn't, it was shut, but it wasn't sealed. Still functions. Huh. All right, well, you can run over it with a Honda if you want. I guess that's not all that impressive. Let's beat on it some more. It lasted the, uh, the running over test, but I don't have some massive, you know, 8,000 pound truck or anything, so it's all scuffed to crap You'd see that I mean really just beat up But it's still functional So Let's beat on it some more I'm gonna use the uh, the back of this hatchet as a hammer and give it a few whacks here actually bouncing I shouldn't really do this in front of my face because it's bouncing back up that's not too smart is it all right let's get out of the way and give him one more good one <laughs> popped open again now someone noticed uh, when I did my video the first video when I was punching it it popped open too which I didn't notice but um, it's not breaking seems indestructible as long as I can figure out a way to latch it just a tiny bit better. But, you know, first of all, keep in mind, you're not going to have repeated beating on this thing. But anyway, um, all right, let's use the blade. open up again but it's leaving these deep gouges but it's not actually broken more scratching not broken let me give this a serious whack hold on a second I swear, I'm not messing around here. I'm really trying to hit this thing hard. Let me do it again. Oh, we have a little crack in it. Let's see if it went all the way through. Yeah, cracked all the way through. So, yeah, wow. Well. Takes a whole lot, and even then, didn't really crush. It's not really as waterproof anymore now, but it's pretty crazy. Huh. All right, well there you go. 
some entertainment there trying to beat on it. Uh, I would say you're you're fairly uh, confident that it's not going to crush if you pretty much no matter what you do to it. Uh, not crush easily anyway. But there you go. Uh, I'm assuming if I can get the crack through with a really really good swing of the hatchet that it's not going to it's not going to take a, uh, a gunshot. Now when I saw the video, they did do a 12 gauge bird shot and it, it withstood that, which I actually think from these uh, quick little tests that uh, I think it would hold up to bird shot. But a uh, double out buck or a slug or something, it'll break. It's not going to be able to hold that back. But anyway, pretty interesting still. There we go. Finally got it to bust. So it takes quite a bit of abuse though. Super thick, heavy duty plastic. Let me take these out because I don't want to ruin those. And by the way, those are still fine. Nothing wrong with them. But anyway, there you go. Finally got one to break. It definitely takes a lot. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.